Hello, my little Willis. As an eater, finding yourself in this scenario when knitting the fisherman's strip stitch could be an absolute nightmare. Know what I mean? This is why today I'm sharing with you how to repair those annoying errors and little mistakes. If you haven't tried the fisherman's strip yet, I'll leave the link below this video on the description box. What makes it complicated to fix is that we have to pearl one and knit one from the row below. It's not the same as the one by one or two by two classic rib stitch. So we're going to need a crochet hook. I know, I know, but it's very useful. Firstly, we need to understand where we are. Sometimes it's really too loose and you'll see lots of long strands. So take the stitch that looks fine, from behind it looks like a knit stitch plus two other strands. We must learn to differentiate which one is above and which one is below. So here we have one above and the other below. Now pass the upper strand through these two. Let's do it again. Here are two more strands. This one is above, this one is below. Pass the upper one through these two. Two more. One is above, the other one below. Pass the upper one through these two. And here come the last two strands. The above one, the below one. Pass the upper one through these two. Pass the stitch onto the left hand needle and knit, inserting the needle into the stitch from the row below as usual. Pour one, knit one from the row below. Pour one, knit one from the row below. So perfectly repaired in seconds. Now imagine that you don't dropped one stitch, but two or three, or even worse. Your needles went off and you dropped all of them. And you find something like this. Or maybe you need to keep on doing until you find the spot where the mistake was made much further down. Okay, carefully unravel the row and stop when you get to that spot. On this side, we see the columns of V's. They look like net stitches. And this is the salvage stitch. In the middle, like in a sandwich, we have a number of loops. I like to call them hats. You see them? And in the other side, we have again the columns of Vs. So we have to do the following to pick up and repair the stitches simultaneously. Firstly, pick up the salvage stitch. Now take the stitch from the column of V's and then pass the loop in the middle behind the column of V's on the other side. And pick up that stitch and repeat. Take the stitch from the column of V's, then pass the loop in the middle behind the column of V's on the other side and Pick up that stitch. Y 
you'll see a bar in front of each column of these on the other side. Pick up the next stitch, pass the loop behind, and pick up that stitch too. Pick up the stitch, pass, and pick up the other stitch. Pass and pick up, pick up, pass and pick up, pick up, pass and pick up. Pick up and pick up the salvage stitch. If you are afraid, there is an easier way to do this. Use a needle one or two sizes smaller so you know you will be able to pick up all the stitches and you won't lose any of them. For example, this is a US 11 size needle or 8 millimeters. You can use a number 10 or 6 millimeter to pick up the stitches. No problem at all. So once you have picked up everything, now we'll repair the row. This is the salvage stitch, so we have to knit. Now comes a purl stitch. When we see the hatch, the loop we passed in front of the column of fees, pick it up along with the next stitch and knit both together. So those have been prepared. And repeat. Pour the next, pick up the loop along with the next stitch and knit both together. Pour the next, pick up the loop along with the next stitch and knit both together. Pour pick up and knit two together. Purl, pick up and knit these two together. You can pass this strand behind and repeat. Purl, pick up and knit these two together. Purl, pick up and knit these two together. Purl, pick up and knit these two together. Pass the strand behind, purl, and knit the salvage stitch. We have repaired everything, so that's it for today, my little Willis. If you want me to teach you how to repair any other difficult stitch patterns, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a thing. Happy knitting!